What's up? Inflatable Enthusiast here, and today's review is on the new for 2022 Jemmy 12 and a half foot tall Airball Inflatable Happy Easter Bunny. So this is sold at Walmart and uh, various online websites for $69. It's really only sold at Walmart for $69, um, but I think that is a fantastic price, and uh, I'll get into why in a little bit. Um, but I got this a while ago. I think I got this in late February or, like, early March. Um, so I've had this for a while. Actually, no, that's not true. I'm pretty sure I got it, like, late March. I got it before St. Patrick's Day, though. So I'm I'm not sure when I got this. I've had it for so long now, I don't remember. But, uh, I it's been in my, uh, Easter display for about a month now. I put my Easter display up, uh, late March. And at the time of me filming this video, it's Friday, April 15th. Uh, so two days before Easter, so I'm very, very late on this review, but I haven't, I haven't had a lot of time in the past few months to actually film this. Um, I actually did film it a while ago, um, but I didn't like the way the review came out, and, um, it just, it was, it was just a bad review. Uh, that was before I had put him in my display, um, so he was falling over every five seconds like I didn't want to stake him down so I just staked down the base fan and he was wobbling back and forth he was leaning a lot so I just decided to completely scrap that review and uh today I'm filming a new one so yeah so I got this at Walmart like I said I got it for $69 which in my opinion is a really great price considering this is a very big inflatable um it it only has a YEF 80 and the design is very very like bland but uh, I think $69 for anything more than, you know, 10 feet tall is a great price. Um, and it's obviously 12 and a half feet tall, as you can see there. Uh, the top of the box is very nice. It says Easter, Happy Easter Money, Airborne Inflatable. One set, $69. And up here it says Way to Celebrate. That's like the Walmart uh, Easter branding, I guess you could say. Um, then the box, like, the art of the inflatable is very good. Shows the inflatable, and then the background is, like, a purple house. Um, this is the same, like, art that was on the, uh, the, the Lux Bunny. And I think the Dapper Bunny as well. I don't remember, though. And the sides, as usual, are the same. Uh, I forgot to mention, though, easy setup, self-inflates in seconds for indoor slash outdoor use. Then the back here is all blue. Uh, it says the same thing. Uh, it shows what it contains. Four base stakes, four tether stakes and ropes, one air balloon inflatable, and one extra fuse. Um, I didn't notice the fuse when I opened it. I think it might be... Uh, I, don't, I, I don't know where it is. I mean, I'll check the box in a second. It's not... The inflatable is not in this box. I have it out on my display. But uh, I'll check the box after I film this. But if there is actually a fuse in here, that is very, very nice. Because Jemmy very rarely includes fuses nowadays. Um... So that's that's great. Um, one thing that's interesting, though, is it says 2021 Walmart Inc. Um, obviously, these things were being manufactured in 2021, but it's just strange that they put it because this is released and it was released in 2022. And usually if an inflatable is released in a year, it'll say, you know, 2021 or 2022. Um, obviously, this isn't the normal Jemmy box art, so it doesn't have the Jemmy logo down there. But it's weird that it says 2021. Um, find more at walmart.com. So yeah, I mean, I'm going to check the box, see if the fuse is in here. I just want to show you just in case. Um, there's no real reason for me to be filming this, but I am storing other inflatables in here. Um, yeah, I, I opened the steak pack and I didn't see anything either, so that's why I'm checking. Yeah, and there's a steak bag right there. And I know as a fact that a fuse did not, like, you know, fall on the, the ground or anything. So that's weird. It says it includes a fuse, but mine did not come with one. And I promise it did not. I'm not, I didn't just lose it or something. I looked through this package very thoroughly in my original review of this. And I can go back and look at that footage. Uh, and there is no, uh, there's no fuse that comes with it. If you get one, that's, that's great. But mine did not come with one for some reason. Um... I just thought that was interesting, though, because Jemmy, like, you know, never includes fuses anymore. Anyways, uh, let's go, let's go outside and see it. It's already set up in my display, so, yeah. 
Okay, so here he is. Uh, I'm not going to show certain angles because I don't want to try to get the rest of the display in the video. Uh, so I don't spoil it. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's a very nice design. One thing I'm sure you've already noticed is his eyes. Um, and I also do apologize that he's blowing around a lot. It is quite windy today. Um, and I'll get to that in a second. But one thing you might have noticed already is his eyes. Um, it seems with mine there was like an error in like the screen printing on his face. And uh, his eyes are like pretty off-centered. Um, now it's getting harder to see because he's falling back. But um, it doesn't bother me too much. Originally uh, it bothered me a lot. But uh, it's sort of grown on me. I kind of like that mine is like this because it makes mine unique compared to, you know, everyone else that owns one of these. Um, so I decided it's fine and I'll just keep it like like how it is. Because um, there's nothing I, I can do about that either. If I had to, if I wanted to get rid of it, I'd have to just buy a new one. So, um, but yeah, so uh, I have quite a few complaints with this inflatable. Um one you're already noticing is he blows around a lot in the wind uh and i'm not exactly sure why i have him staked down very very well um as you can see these front stakes are are you know very very tight um i use the normal jemmy stakes because i didn't have like any spare colossal stakes that i could find um but yeah he and he leans back considerably um, as you can see, he's not standing up straight, and that is because the tether on the back of him connecting him to the base fan, this tether right here is stitched very, very tightly, um, and he's literally on top of me right now, which is absolutely insane. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what to do about this. He leans back so much, uh, that the tether on the back of his uh, feet is stitched way, way too tight, and that was a problem with my original review, is he was leaning, like, super far back. Um, not like this, this is just because of the wind. But uh, in my original review, he was leaning super far back, I couldn't get him to stand up straight, and that's because of that tether. Um, but I have no idea why he does this. He does this with the slightest breeze, I don't know why. Um, I mean, I'd probably have to put on extra, I'd probably have to put on extra tethers to fix it. I don't know how to get them to stay up straight, but as you can, well, I'm not going to show the rest of the display, but all of the other inflatables right now are standing up fine, and he's just batting around all over the place. I've never had a problem uh, with any inflatable like this. Um, originally, I was thinking it was because he only has a YEF-80, which is a fairly weak fan for his size. But then I thought, like, you know, the 20-foot Santa has a YEF-60, which is an even worse fan, and he's almost double the size. And he never, you know, bent backwards like he just he was just doing in my Christmas display. Um, so, yeah, I have no idea why. Maybe because it's his body is, like, super skinny or something. But, um, and there's no holes or anything either. There's, like, this tiny little one right here, which is, like, barely the size of my pinky. And then there's a small one here, like on his foot, which is barely the size of my pointer finger. Uh, so that obviously does not affect it at all. But yeah, I have no idea why he blows so far back. He blows around a lot like crazy with the slightest breeze. Um, and there is actually some fraying at the bottom of the banner on mine. Uh, I don't know why that's happening, but yeah. And as you can see, the banner stitched on uh, quite well. Uh, it, it's a very small banner, and, and he's a smaller inflatable than the 18-foot jack, um, but I'm going to compare it to the 18-foot jack because he's one of the only other inflatables with a banner that I own. Um, the 18-foot jack, because of his size, the banner is not stitched on right, but I think this does the job because it's a, it's a much smaller inflatable than him. Um, there are some weird, like, stitching holes right here. Uh, I, I have no idea why, uh, but it goes, like, all the way up his hand, too. I think that's... I think they went off the seam or something. I don't know. But, yeah, mine has a lot of problems with it. Um, I like this inflatable. I think the design is nice, but I don't know what is wrong with mine. There's just so many issues. Uh, like, you know, the, the thing on the back, the back uh, base fan leg is tied way too tight. The screen printing on his face. 
you know, the holes here and there, that stitching I just showed you, the fraying at the bottom of the banner. Mine has a lot of problems and I, I can't, most of them I can't even fix. But uh, it's a nice inflatable. I think he's a great, like, you know, centerpiece for an Easter display. Um, so I recommend him. $69 is a steal for this. Uh, I recommend trying to find them at your local Walmart. I mean, it's too late to now. It's two days before Easter. But uh, if you want to get one for like next year, uh, I don't think your Walmart would have any more in stock. But it's a nice inflatable. I think if you buy it off of like yard inflatables and stuff, though, it is a little bit overpriced. Yeah, as you can see, he does that pretty much every time. Like the wind is not even bad right now. I don't understand it. I'm just going to show you the Lux Bunny. As you can see, he's not, you know, falling back at all. He's rocking from side to side. But, and then you got the 12-foot bunny doing the limbo and the banners flying around like crazy. I, I don't understand it, but... Anyways, yeah, sorry it's such a bad review. And sorry I'm so late on this review. But, uh, I haven't had a lot of time to do it. And, um... This is, the wind is completely out of my control, and I don't know why he's doing this. But, um, I'll just wait for him to stand back up real quick in a second. Okay, maybe not. Anyways, that's it. I'm the Inflatable Enthusiast, and I'll see you guys next time. The Easter uh, display will be out in two days, so I'll show you the night view then. Uh, yeah, bye.